I think there's one approach that's highly underutilized in OpenSim as well as just dynamics in general. And it's something that I call mixed dynamics analysis. So in OpenSim, you can do inverse dynamics where you provide motion and OpenSim will calculate the loads that would, would produce it. And you can also do forward dynamics where you provide loads on the model and then OpenSim will tell you the resulting motion. But you can also do problems where in part of the model, you give it the motion. In another part of the model, you give it the loads. And so that's mixed dynamics because part of the model is solved in an inverse sense and part of the model is solved in a forward sense. To solve those sorts of problems with OpenSim, you actually have to solve it as a forward dynamic simulation. And then to define the motion of the model for the parts of the model where you know the motion, you have to go into the OSIM model file and prescribe the motion of those joints. And those sorts of analyses are really helpful if you have a situation where you have a model of a human subject that's interacting with some sort of machine component. And then it's helpful, for example, if you prescribe the motion of the human part of the model, then the machine part comes along for the ride. And so you can do some very interesting combined analyses that way.